What's going on guys, it's Valence and back to another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Fortnite thumbnails. So by the end of this video, you guys will be able to make something like this. With that said, let's jump into the video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like on the video. And also don't forget to go in the item shop and use my supporter creator code because that will really help me out a lot. So first thing, go on Fortnite and go on creative. You guys can also go on playground, but it doesn't really matter. Now that we're finally loaded up into the game, we're going to head on over to Pleasant Park. So just go over to Pleasant Park. And run over to the soccer field. And we're here. So what you guys have to do next is position yourself wherever you want. This way, this way, or this way. And once you're in your position, do an emote. So I'm going to do a few emotes. And once you're done emoting, exit the game. Now make sure you're on Epic settings, or if you're not on Epic, you guys can go as close to Epic as you can. Then go over to your replays and find the file. If your replay didn't save, make sure you guys go into your settings and make sure record creative games are on. For me, I accidentally forgot to do that, so I'm gonna have to go back into the game and emote once again. So this video is sponsored by Zach. So when it comes to gaming, there's a lot of stuff out there and you're also trying to keep up with the latest news, streams, or memes. So I have a solution for you guys. Meet Zach, the ultimate gaming assistant. So now we're on the program and we can select our favorite game. And once you guys finish doing that, you guys can click on done. It also recognizes what games you guys have installed on your computer. So now Zach is getting all the information that would be relevant to me. Now, here's our feed. It's kind of like Twitter. So you guys can see Apex Legends. So we have Fortnite over here. We have the latest tweets from Fortnite and some videos about Fortnite. So this is a pretty cool virtual assistant. This can be on the side of your monitor like this, or it can also be on your second monitor. So this is a really cool all-in-one solution. So I highly recommend you guys download this because it's free. As you guys can see, I'm up to date with the latest Fortnite tweets. We have Prop Hunt over here and we have the new emote that just came out into the item shop. So make sure you guys go into the description down below and download Zach today. So we're gonna fly back over to the soccer field and once again, we're gonna start emoting because I forgot to save the replay. Now that we're done emoting, we're gonna leave creative and find our replay. Now we're gonna go into careers, replays, and it's right over here. We're gonna click on play, confirm, and load it into the game. Now just skip the replay until you find yourself emoting. So here's the emote, we're gonna pause it, switch it over to drone free, and we can adjust the camera settings. So we can change the exposure. This is kind of like the brightness. We can also change the focal length of the lens and the aperture. So we're gonna be testing out a few different camera angles for our thumbnail. Another tip is you can do drone attached and now it's going to stay focused on your character. So to save it, you guys just need to click on this I button so you can hide the HUD and then click on print screen on your keyboard. So this is a pretty good thumbnail. And if we want a different one, we can keep watching and find a different emote. We're going to slow down our drone speed and then go into position. So we can do 10 millimeter and here it is and we can mess around with the exposure don't go too extreme and now we're gonna hide the HUD 
and we're gonna click on print screen on our keyboard. Now you guys can minimize Fortnite or close it. And now we're gonna head on over to this website. It's called Folder, and they're also the sponsor of this video. So we're gonna go on edit a photo. We're gonna edit the photo. Next, just close all this stuff. Now we're gonna head on over to paint on our computer. We're gonna click on this paste button or control V and we're gonna see our thumbnail. So we're gonna click on the X button, click on save and save it to somewhere like your desktop. Now we can head back over to folder, go to computer and upload the image. Now that we have it uploaded, we can start messing around with the settings. So we can mess around with the contrast, saturation to make it more colorful, sharpness, um, we have film grain, lens flare. Let's test out a lens flare. We can use that as a sun at the top, maybe right over here because the light's coming on this side. We can pretend that's the sun. That looks pretty good. We're gonna apply. I think I need to change the colors a little bit more. And now we can save it. We can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna name it thumbnail. You can choose either or and save it on high. We're gonna click on download and now it's gonna be downloading. Now we can switch out now we can switch over to design if you guys want to add text. Now we're gonna be working a little bit more on folder to make our YouTube thumbnail better. So we're gonna be adding more boxes and text. So we're gonna import an image. So here we have our image. We're gonna stretch it so it fits our screen. And now we're gonna get onto the thumbnail making. So here are a whole bunch of different templates for you guys to use. So we're just gonna test one of them out. Um, let's see what we can use. Let's, let's test out this one. And we're gonna drag our image over. And it fits right into this box. You can also drag another one in and another one. Let's start off with this one. We're gonna drag in our image. So we're gonna move our image down That looks perfect. Now we're gonna stretch it out so it fits. And now we can adjust the location of the image. And I think I like this. And we're gonna move the text over. We're gonna grab all of these and move it over. So we can change the text over here. So we can type whatever you want, builds, whatever, whatever your thumbnail needs. And you guys have a whole bunch of different templates to choose from. So you guys can make your very own custom YouTube thumbnail. So there are th things like stickers, backgrounds, and different things like that. So for stickers, we can add arrows. So if you guys want a big red arrow pointing at something, we can create that on this website. So for example, we're gonna use this arrow and we're gonna change it to red. We can also choose our, our own custom red. So if we want the red to be brighter, that's a nice red. We're gonna make it a little bit longer and we can point to whatever we want. So we're gonna point it to this. And here's our thumbnail. That's pretty much it. I like this font, so we're gonna try this one. Let's also see what else they have. I think I like this one. And we're gonna bold it and change the color. And now we have our text. You can place it wherever you want. You can do something like this, and that's pretty much it. It's very easy to use, 
and there are a lot of different options you guys can choose from to make your own thumbnail. So make sure to check out Folder to make your own custom thumbnails for absolutely free. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you guys did, be sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.